Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Game James from Big Game Sports Buzz, and this is Game's Extra Point. Last week, I started something by going into one of my favorite songs, and that was, If You Stay Ready, You Don't Have to Get Ready. Today, I come off again with another song, Be Humble by Kendrick Lamar. And no, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of different references and points, but uh, the NFL honors the other night, they did the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. And this is a great award. And I know guys that I've played with that have been nominated for this award, they took it as the highest honor and biggest praise that, you know, of most awards that they can be given. Because it doesn't just speak about you as a player. It talks about your the human being you are, the kind heart that you have, what you're willing to sacrifice and do for others. And one thing that I think um, a lot of players don't get credit for is their kind heart and what they sacrifice off the field to help others out. Um, I know when I played, I was blessed to have been able to give back to people. And it was something that was near and dear to me. Um, I had a couple of different projects that I stepped in and I helped with. And my wife was right there along my side. Um I did a Christmas program where I bought gifts for kids that were in need. Uh, I did the H Foundation. I joined up with a former player and fed um, anywhere from 50 to 100 families for Thanksgiving dinners. And then uh, my wife and I had our Canada Crusaders, our basketball scholarship program, where we took some kids from the inner city of Blake High School there in Tampa and uh, made sure that they could come out and enjoy games um, by doing a certain amount of work, applying for colleges and things of that nature. Um, a lot of times people always ask me, hey, big game, what do you miss the most? And most of the time I say I miss talking with the guys. And, of course, I miss that paycheck. But stopping to think about it, I really miss some of those kind, great acts that I was able to do and put in a position to help people. Um, it made me feel a lot better. It made me realize that the game was bigger than me. And although I stepped in, to a role that was awesome as far as being able to live my dream, be able to get paid to play football, I was also able to change lives. See, Andrew Whitworth is one heck of a football player, but he's at that position of offensive line to where the less you hear his name, you know the better he's doing because he's been around a long time. He's a staple on the offensive line for the Rams. He did it in Cincinnati. But what he does off the field is nowhere short of amazing. The amount of homes he's helped people buy back in his native uh, uh, Louisiana. Um, the programs that he has in the inner city in the Los Angeles area out there, you know, being a member of the Rams now, he's just very selfless and, you know, very, very humble in his approach to life. And he said he's trying to teach his kids how to be servers. And that's beyond amazing. Um, I always tell my kids that I want them to be better at life than I am. So my job as a parent is to teach them the different things they need to do. Andrew Whitworth, you're one hell of a dude, man. You're doing big things and uh, you're very deserving of this award. But this is something that Witt said in his acceptance speech that really stood out to me. He says, keep investing in each other and lead with your heart. There's a lot more work to do. So if we continue to invest in each other as people, and lead with our heart, we'll always be on the correct side of doing the right things. The most impressive part to me, man, during that speech is when he told the story of Derek Barnes, uh, a linebacker, I believe it is, of the Detroit Lions, who ran up to him after a game and said, hey, Witt, hey, Witt, I just want to thank you. Those Tuesdays meant a lot to me. So here was a kid that Andrew Whitworth invested time in when he was a young man at the Boys and Girls Club in Cincinnati, turned out to be an exceptional young man, achieved his dream and his goal of making it to the NFL, and said he owed a large part of that to Andrew Whitworth. Can't tell everybody what to do with their time or with their money, but if we continue to invest in each other and we do it out of the kindness of our heart, we're going to have great, great results. Great things will come. Because as much as they talk about negative things in the media, negative things that happen in locker rooms. This is what we have to take out of it. 
We have to take the good that our teammates and our friends do and our, our alumni brothers do, what they go out and they do for the people of their community. Because at the end of the day, it's all bigger than us. James Canada was one small piece to a puzzle while playing football in the NFL. But the lives that I happen to change and help by donating and giving back, I can never be more thankful that I was blessed and fortunate enough to be in that situation. Hey, remember, Big Game's Extra Point is brought to you by Fat Boy Coffee. Fat Boy Coffee, don't let the fat fool you. Go to fatboycoffee.com, check out Fat Boy Coffee's organic brews and blends. Big Game James, y'all be good.